Today, Advent can legally buy a beer in America. But tough shit, Advent. I haven't got beer, I've got gin. And Lego, and you should never legally be able to buy the fucking Lego. Anyway, let's see what gin can bring. This box is getting much pleasantly lighter. Much more pleasantly? This box is getting pleasantly lighter, without a much involved. The more gin I drink from it. Although my ability to describe this box as I pick up its lightness is getting less so. Okay, door 21. Door 21 is going to tear like some of the others have. They're not all perforated brilliantly well. And today's gin. Oh, sorry, I forgot the spoker hog who can read out today's gin. And then because she doesn't speak ginman, can't tell me, so I've got to read it myself anyway. Dead King Gin. Dead King Gin. I don't think that's actually the name of a living person. Dead King G What are you doing? Are you distilling this in the hollowed out corpse of an old monarch? I hope not. Well, having tasted some of these other gins, it wouldn't surprise me. Wow, what a sort of festive cheer that is. We're celebrating the birth of something in a few days' time, but first let's start with a dead king. And the desiccated fluids. So not desiccated, the defecated fluids that flowed from him and got distilled into this gin smelling gin. Actually, it doesn't smell too strongly of gin. Or anything else. Thankfully, it doesn't have eau de corpse about it. At least not so far. To be fair, if if this is actually gin stored in a dead king, I would say if you ever find yourself needing to smuggle gin, don't be afraid to do it in a skin suit. Hmm. That's okay. It's actually it's not too rough. It's it's ginish. That's that's quite light and pleasant which I was not expecting from its name. And the name does still worry me. As does the fact that, does this now mean that I'm kind of a gin necrophiliac? I'm definitely not a necrophiliac, but maybe I'm a ginophiliac. I don't know. I don't want to know. I want to move on from thinking that and get back to this, which I never thought I'd say that kind of twice in one year. Oh, it's one of them. I think I know what this is going to pretend to be. I've got a feeling. I have an advent droid that's kind of a favourite, even though in Star Wars it was one of those, oh, that is such a lazy one. And I think that's what this is. This is a Christmas version of my favourite advent droid, possibly. I know this is going to make it sound like I almost have a heart and can find joy in silly things, and I do apologise, but I actually like that. That, unlike a lot of this other just really nonsensical, meaningless, lazy crap, this is good fun. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's taken the foot shuffly droid, it's stuck a carrot in what I hope is his nose. I mean, who knows? Droid anatomy is not necessarily the same as human anatomy or any other alien anatomy in the Star Wars universe, but yeah, I do. It's a shame that his legs don't wobbly walk shuffle thing like in the movies, but then he didn't have a top hat in the movies either, so... Yeah, I shouldn't criticise too much. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to call him Franz, and I'm not going to throw him. I'm going to gently place him, because he's kind of made this, so far, all worthwhile. <laughs>